Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again and today we will learn how to update firmware version of Netgear EX6250 AC1750 Wi-Fi range extender. Guys, it is always recommended to keep your device's firmware up to date. Also, most extenders will show you the option to update its firmware once you login into its web user interface. Now, in order to update any Netgear Extenders firmware, you first need to login into Extenders web page. For this, first make sure that your extender is plugged into the wall and it should be all set up and working. Also your laptop or computer should be connected to the Extenders network name. Once connected, open a browser on the very same device and in the URL type myWiFiEXT.net or try myWiFiEXT.local or use 192.168.1.250 and hit enter. This should bring Netgear EX6250 login page where you simply just need to type your username and password to login into it. If myWiFiEXT is not working for you, then you need to login into Extender's web page using its IP address. Watch our video on how to login into any Wi-Fi extender using its IP address. The link is given in the description. Now once you are logged in to the extender, click on the menu option and then to settings and then go to firmware update. There you will see two options. First is to check online and the second is to browse and upload. So if you click on check online, it will automatically check for latest firmware version if available and then will ask for your permission to update it or not. If you click on yes, then it will automatically update it for you. And the second option is to browse. So basically in this one, you first need to download the firmware from Netgear's official website that is downloadcenter.netgear.com the link is given in the description. On the website, you need to type your device's model number and on the right hand side, you will see firmware slash software and the top one is the latest one. Click on it to download it. Once downloaded, you will have to extract the files on your local system. Now go back to your extender's web page and click on the browse option. Next, select the file from your local system that you extracted. The firmware file ends with .img extension. Do kindly note that during the time the extender is updating its firmware, do not turn off the system or the extender. Moreover, do not try to go online too until its firmware update is completely finished. So the firmware update takes a couple of minutes and after that the extender restarts again. Now, you will be able to connect your phones, laptops, smart TVs to the extender's network again. Just in case the firmware is corrupt and your extender is not working after firmware update, then we recommend you to reset your extender and then try the setup again. We have already made videos on how to reset EX6250 and how to set it up too. The link is provided in the description. Also, one very important thing to note down is that when you try EX6250 extender setup, make sure you don't end up on third-party websites who might scam you for hundreds of dollars and might also steal your data. We have made a complete video on how to save yourself from this Netgear extender scam. The link is provided in the description again. Moreover, if any certain firmware version is causing an issue into your extender, then we recommend you to downgrade the firmware by downloading it from downloadcenter.netgear.com and uploading it on your extender's firmware page. Also, we do provide independent support for different gadgets like printers, routers, smart TVs, Roku, Alexa, extender, etc. So if you need any technical help with any home appliance, then you can get in touch with our technician on our official website devicessetup.com. The link is provided in the description. And if the video was useful, 
please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.